wish I was in Sherbrooke. For more than 200 years, New Bedford Harbor has been a major hub of New England commerce. Whaling fleets scoured the North Atlantic from docks in New Bedford and neighboring communities, making New Bedford one of the richest cities in the world during the 1800s. Along with its fishing industry, the waterfront was home to oil refineries, textile mills, and manufacturers of electronics. But all of that industrial production came with a cost. New Bedford Harbor is one of the nation's largest and most contaminated Superfund sites. Polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, were used at several sites to cool and insulate electrical equipment. PCBs improperly dumped into the harbor from the 1940s to the late 1970s have left a legacy of contamination that persists today. A unique aspect of the Superfund research program is the acknowledgement that people living around contaminated sites are often the most affected and so should be included in decisions about the research and actions around the site. In fact, they should inform the research. PCBs are industrial chemicals that were manufactured for a variety of uses, uh, and in particular for use in the electrical industry. PCBs are a mixture of uh, chemicals and they their physical form is as a viscous fluid, and they were used as insulating fluids, especially in capacitors and transformers in the electrical industry. The irony of New Bedford Harbor is that it's one of the most polluted places in the United States, and yet it's the most profitable fishing port in the United States as well. The fleet goes out every day, and yet we can't eat the fish in the harbor. Having one of the largest Superfund sites in the country is a tough thing, both from the residents' point of view for health and for the city's reputation. Over the long haul, if people feel more comfortable being on and around the water or being outside in their community, that increases the quality of life. You know, um, It does make it a more attractive place to live. So ultimately, the BU Superfund Research Program is all about evaluating and addressing long-standing environmental health challenges and trying to come up with solutions that can improve the lives of people living near Superfund sites. My family, we lived in the areas around the harbor in the South End. We started to um, learn more about the harbor and um, what was happening with the harbor. Um, we learned that it was con contaminated. Um, so my family, at that point, we stopped going to the beach to swim. We learned um, that not much was being done to help um, clean up the harbor. Um, and so I, I always was wanting to do more about it. I just didn't know how to find ways. We have a responsibility to protect the environment now, and so we as a city need to think about the products we buy. Are we just continuing that legacy of contaminating our environment? Or are we going to do something about it, not just clean up, but clean up our own habits of using products that are poisonous to our yards, to our houses, um, to the people we love?